Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be talking about the relative atomic mass of atoms. So we need to do a quick recap first of all. This is my picture of an atom. Inside the nucleus here I have two different types of particles, which some of them are coloured in, some of them are not coloured in. The coloured in ones are my protons and these are my neutrons. And then around the outside, I have my electrons. It's really important that you remember where we are. And you'll notice in my picture that I have one, two, three, four, five, six protons, one, two, three, four, five, six neutrons, and one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. So this is what you need to know about the particles. You need to know their mass, you need to know their charge, and you need to know their location. So let's start with the location since we just did that one. Protons are in the nucleus of an atom, as are neutrons. And electrons are in what we call shells around the outside. Now protons have a mass of one. Neutrons also have a mass of 1, and electrons have a mass of 0. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret. Electrons do have a mass, but it is so tiny that we don't even bother writing it down. Now, the charge of a proton is plus 1. A neutron has no charge, and an electron has a minus 1 charge. So we need to understand what the periodic table can tell us. This is carbon. You'll see it has one number up here and another number down here. You need to know what these numbers are. This is the mass number. This is how much carbon weighs. And this is the atomic number. Let's pop that up there. Now, the atomic number is equal to the number of protons, which is also equal to the number of electrons. We find out the number of neutrons by simply taking the atomic number away from the mass number. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. You can follow along with the periodic table if you've got one. This is boron and you'll see that boron has a mass of 11 and an atomic number of 5. Now if you remember the atomic number tells us the number of protons and the number of electrons. So the protons here are equal to 5. The electrons are also equal to 5. And the neutrons equal the mass number minus the atomic number. So the number of neutrons is just 5. No, no, it's not. Not 5. It is... 11 minus 5, which is equal to 6. This is phosphorus. Its mass number is 31. Its atomic number is 14. So again, the atomic number tells us the number of protons, which is equal to 14. The number of electrons, which is equal to 14. And the number of neutrons is the mass minus the atomic so that's 31 minus 14, 17. Argon has a mass of 40 and an atomic number of 18. So the atomic number tells us the protons, 18 tells us the electrons, 18, and the neutrons is the mass number minus the atomic number. So that is 40 minus 18, so that equals 
punch too. Right, slightly harder on now, we've got palladium. It has a mass of 106 and an atomic number of 46. But it's exactly the same idea again. The atomic number tells us that it has 46 protons, it has 46 electrons, and the neutrons is just equal to the mass number minus the atomic number. So that's 106 minus 46, which equals 60. And last but not least, my personal favourite tungsten. This is always a good one to remember for pub quizzes because the symbol W doesn't bear a lot of relation to tungsten. So the mass of tungsten is 184. The atomic number is 74. This tells us the protons, 74. The electrons, 74. And the neutrons I equal to the mass number minus the atomic number. So that equals 184 minus 74. So the number of neutrons in tungsten is 90.